Hey everybody. Welcome. I'm still looking at the screen. <laughs> What's up everybody? So, uh, I did a thing. I, uh, got myself a new project. Uh, been into this overlanding thing on Instagram and YouTube lately. And I'm, uh, trying to look at the lens and not the screen. So I'm looking at you. Anyway, here's what I got. This is my 1992 GMC Suburban. 275,000 miles. It's a K1500 4x4. I got it for the low, low price of $1,800. And I love it. <laughs> uh, Drives like a boat, needs shocks, uh, steering's all over the place, so uh, I'm sure the rag joint is shot. Um, it's definitely a project, but definitely worth $1,800. Uh, I love the color, it's like this light blue, and it's got a uh, nice sun damaged oxidation patina it's actually kind of makes it look like it's got custom paint to me because <laughs> it looks like it's silver on top and it fades into a light blue Let's see if I can get a good shot there we go it's got a four inch lift on it aftermarket rims and tires I think are pretty cool. It's got the step bars. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to be working on and um, hopefully doing some cross trunk, cross country stuff, off roading and overlanding. I got a lot of plans, but uh, first I got to get it roadworthy. Uh, it runs and stops, but uh, <laughs> it's not a lot of fun going down the down the freeway. It feels like you're driving a bouncy house. Um, I've got a long list started. What I need to do. Um, well, I'll show you the inside. It's got a blue interior, which I also love. I don't know, I have a thing for these old school blue cars. Uh, interior needs a lot of help. A lot of loose stuff. The dash is pretty much destroyed. But I usually hate these little carpet things, but in this case, uh, looks a lot better. But uh, yeah, stereo doesn't work. Uh, parking brake needs to be adjusted. It doesn't do anything. Um, it's got third row seat. Uh, this is the K1500 SLE. So it has, there's my little badgie. So it actually has power driver seat and power windows. Um, yeah, interior is a little gnarly. I'm gonna have it deep cleaned by a buddy. Uh, hopefully get everything steam cleaned. And I'll be able to button a lot of this stuff up. So yeah, the uh, interior needs some love. Gonna need a uh, armrest back there. These, uh, this visor shot, but actually found a couple on eBay in blue last night and ordered those. And I think I found a guy that has uh, armrests. But uh, let's look around. Back seats are in great shape other than uh, needing a good cleaning. Oh, and there's parts back here. 
headliner is not too bad. It's only uh, a little bit loose here, but it's hardly noticeable. Um, other than that, I think after a good clean, this is going to be perfect. Uh, you know, typical old age stuff, but uh, I could probably fix some of this stuff up. <coughs> Um, these are probably some cheap tires. I think I'm going to go with something a little more uh, all-terrain, highway friendly. Um, these make a lot of noise and a little more aggressive for my taste. But uh, get something that I can get some good mileage. It's got a tow hitch on it. Go back here. It's got the the glass that lifts and tailgates stuck closed I got some bonus items back here a jack it looks like some brand new ratchet straps or not ratchet but they're decent straps some leftover gaskets never heard of those around back stuff everywhere but uh yeah this this is gonna be perfect for what I want to do and uh I'll bring you guys along for the journey uh, that was my first mod right there my go fast don't die sticker if you don't know those guys check them out uh yeah it goes into four low, but it's not going into four high. So uh, I'll have to address that. Uh, emergency brake. Heat doesn't work. Air conditioning doesn't work. Uh, so that's on the list. My uh, shift knob's a little gnarly, and we got this thing locked on here. I'll have to cut that off. And, um,. I'm thinking I might put a backup camera. I've seen some screens that might actually fit in this space where this old stereo was. So that's on the list. Um, what else? Uh, it's thinking power steering fluid. So that's on the list. Let's go ahead and uh, All the power windows work, which is cool. And the power seat works. It's a little weird, but it works. Uh, new radiator. Got our little airbox mod. <laughs> and uh, somebody at some point had a janky uh, subwoofer system hooked up. But this is the Probably the first thing I'm going to do today is check this out. The battery terminal has a penny wedged in it, which I guess is a pro tip. They got these uh, bolts in here that are skinny, and the clamp is busted because they tightened it down and it won't grab the bolt. So they wedged a penny in there. Isn't that cool? So that'll be the first thing I address today. I uh, checked all the fluids. Everything looks good. Uh, actually, I had to drive it home over an hour from where I bought it yesterday, and I checked the oil before I left, and it, it was not only full, it looked really clean. Um, this, so I think the power steering fluid leak that's really the only fluid related thing I got to address. Uh, I checked the level and it was full and uh, there was a spare bottle inside the car of fluid. So I guess it's been ongoing. Um, what else? The uh, gas tank was pretty much empty 
when I got it. So I stopped and got some seafoam treatment. Filled up the tank, put some seafoam in there for the drive home. Hopefully that did a little work. I put a little in the crankcase too. Um, you know, I'm gonna go through, do the typical stuff, change all the diff fluids. And um, the transmission was just rebuilt, so that's pretty good. And yeah, the goal with this thing is to do some overland camping cross-country trips um, and have it where I can sleep in the back. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen a company called Sub Overland. They kind of gave me the inspiration for uh, building out the back where you can build a platform with some storage underneath, um, some storage in the walls put a rack on the roof for the spare tire um, and even I don't know how long it'll be before I get here but I'd love to put a solar panel on top and uh, a roof fan and that would power everything um, so that's the goal uh, we're at the first stage here suspensions on its way the u-joint is on its way steering and um, I've got a long long list going so I'll bring you guys along if you're interested um, keep coming back and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get this thing on the road and on some cool adventures so there's our our starting point uh, hope you come along for the ride should be interesting um, should be fun. I, I imagine there's going to be points where it's not fun. It's going to be really frustrating and annoying, but that's all part of the process. Uh, I love wrenching on these these old rigs. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm new to this whole uh, YouTube thing, doing it all on an iPhone. Uh, Got to start somewhere, right? So, um, yeah, if you Got any value out of this, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, come back, check in on the progress. And uh, see you on the next one. Camera, screen, camera, screen, camera. I love you.